Hi, my name is Kiki Grandi Soriano, and this is my 2023 scholarship application for the Teacher's Test Prep Pass the Torch Scholarship. That is a mouthful. <laughs> All right. So the teacher that I would like to honor with this uh, scholarship application is Mr. Joel Michelle. Mr. Michelle was actually never my teacher in a conventional sense. I met him about a year ago when I was in my second semester of my credentialing program and I was assigned to his classroom for my classroom observations. Um, and he was just such a wonderful role model for me in a time where I really, really needed it. I've known for quite a while now that teaching is what I'm very, very passionate about. And I always tell my friends, you know, in an ideal world, I would love nothing more than to be a teacher, but the world that we live in is not ideal. And there's a lot of obstacles and challenges that are put in our way. I think especially as people who are trying to be teachers, because it's not easy, <laughs> it's not an easy journey. And especially for people like myself too. You know, I'm low income. I was born in Mexico. I came here as a child. Um, and the thing that has been causing, I think, the most conflict in certain spaces as of late has been my queerness as well. And there's just, you know, during my credentialing program, I have felt myself be in many spaces where I feel like these spaces aren't meant for people like me and I don't feel particularly welcomed or supported or understood. So let me tell you, when I came into Mr. Michelle's classroom a year ago, um, I was coming in during a time where I was feeling very disheartened and doubtful. Um, and Mr. Michelle, completely changed that for me. Immediately he made space for me in the classroom and he made me feel seen and respected and like I was bringing a lot of valuable contributions to the space. He rejected this idea of him being the master teacher um, and he told me that he really loves taking in teacher candidates because he feels that he learns just as much from us as we do from him. He's always asking questions about oh well, what classes are you taking? What did you learn? Who are you reading? What methods, what techniques are you learning about? Because he wants to implement those into his classroom as well. He's an incredible teacher and I think so much of what makes him great is that he is humble. It's his humility. It's that he sees himself as a lifelong learner and he's always, always wanting to learn more about how he can teach better, how he can do better, how he can better support his students. And that's so much because of who he is as a person. Mr. Michelle is also a Latino man. Um, he also comes from humble beginnings and the school that we worked at is seven miles from the U.S.-Mexico border so it's a really interesting environment to be in. It's a predominantly Latinx school, predominantly low income um, and Mr. Michelle was able to be such a role model not only for me but for the students in that space as well and I know this is a little unconventional but I figured the best way that I can put his impact into words is honestly to read you the thank you letter that I wrote to him at the end of my semester. So here's just a section of it. It's abundantly clear how much your students love and respect you. The role you play in creating a classroom environment that feels safe, encouraging, and warm for students should be applauded. So I'm sure much of this has come from practice and years of experience. I think a lot of it simply comes from who you are as a person and the values that guide your heart. The students can sense this and the trust and rapport you're able to build with them as a result clearly has positive impacts on their learning. It's definitely had a positive impact on mine. In addition to the plethora of technical skills you've taught me, and I have a little blue cuadernito, a little notebook, thick notebook, full, full of rich notes to prove it. You've also taught me how to be more comfortable in my skin as a teacher. The feedback you've given me about slowing down, raising my voice, and not being afraid to take up more space are not only applicable to the classroom, but to all aspects of my life. The world has, and at times still does, made me feel incredibly small. It's beaten me down to dust so much that once I'm able to make myself whole again, I prefer to stay small and quiet and at the sidelines because at least there I know I am more safe. I'm still learning to undo this line of thinking, learning to use my voice and stand unapologetically in spaces that were not built for people like me. Whether you realize it or not, your patience, openness, and guidance this past semester have shown me that it is possible for me to feel comfortable and supported in environments where this has historically not been the case. Part of what pulls me towards teaching is this desire to cultivate spaces where children can feel the same comfort and support to be themselves and to be loved for it. I think your students feel this in your classroom and it has been beautiful to witness. So that's a small excerpt um, from my letter to him. It was very important to him that I felt comfortable in that space that we were going to have a collaborative relationship in, um, that I felt seen, that I felt respected, that I felt like my identities were respected. 
Um, and the way that he treated me translated to not only how he treated the students, obviously, but also how comfortable the students felt in that space. You know, Mr. Michelle is the type of teacher where his students will be banging on his door at lunchtime trying to come in and hang out just because not only is he a great teacher, but he's a great person when it comes to holding and curating a space where students want to be or where they feel like they can be themselves. And that's definitely something that I want to take into my teaching, um, especially to make sure students like me can feel like they have a space in the classroom as well. All right, I'm running out of time, but that is Mr. Michelle's impact on me. That is the impact that I hope to have on students someday. Um, so that's my application. Thank you for your consideration for this scholarship.